Uh, so, this is Skybal Zack. Uh, I'm Sushi, this is Skybal Zack, and uh, we're going to go through the time attack mode, but before I just explain some things, uh, because this is an unknown game. Uh, so, the game basically it's a platformer where you can uh, move, jump, dash, uh, fast forward, etc. But the main mechanic is the rocket punch. Uh, so, you have uh, enemies that are color coded to your buttons, uh, and when they are within the range, the green range, you have to press the red button. So, uh, there we have that. We have to dash, triangle, square, etc. You can uh, prolong your uh, range by uh, p pressing the button uh, longer. And uh, there is one exception for that, are the gray, enem gray enemies, where you have to press the jump button, uh, you have to time your jump button. The next mechanic that is kind of weird is the directional bump. So normally in a platformer, you press the directions to go towards the enemy, but this time uh, you have to press the direction to uh, anticipate your direction. So right now I have to go to the uh, top right path so I will uh, press top right and we can see like I go to the top right path after so for example here if I want to go up I have to press up before you can see the path I'm taking with the little dots on the enemies so that's it for the quick presentation of the game uh, now I think we can start the actual run um, so we're going to super happy mode so get ready for countdown uh, if you're ready countdown in five Four, three, two, one, go. So this is the first level. It's pretty simple as uh, we only know the basic mechanics as in uh, the rocket punch, the basic rocket punch. We normally don't know dashing and all, but well, we know that so we can use it to go faster. Uh, and so that was the first level. Incoming the um, second level, uh, which is the one two, where we introduce the dash actually, uh, the dash and the gray enemies, where we have to time the jump. Uh, yeah. So with the directional bump and other things, we can uh, you we can uh, abuse some things at the beginning, as uh, you were not intended to know that it exists. And uh, I have to talk about the, pa the branching system of the game. So, like in Sonic games, you have different paths in the levels. Uh, with the top path being the fastest and the most rewarding. But actually, in this level, uh, we take the middle path, the bottom path, because the level 1-3-B is uh, faster than one tree a so this is the only exception for this run uh, so yeah in the level one tree b we are introduced with the the directional bump and the uh, focus attack so the range extension and uh, we just zip through everything and from now on we will have uh, some new enemies and all uh, but this one is quite cool that was my favorite level in the demo uh, yeah, uh, quite a good time. So, uh, coming, we have level 14A. So, for all level 14A, there are new enemies which are armored enemies that you have to hit twice and sometimes not the same color. So, uh, you can see the color, the second color to hit with the jet flames uh, that are below the enemy. And you, have, you can still go very fast on these enemies. So here we can see I was dashing then jumping on a grey enemy. Uh, so this is... you keep the momentum when doing that. So you can do uh, some crazy movement with that. And again the end of the level. That's so sad that I'm going so fast because the music of the game are so good. I recommend listening to them. Uh, you can uh, listen to them on the YouTube. On the on the this on the Skyball Zack uh, YouTube channel, but well, so in coming from World Two, uh, in this world uh, we are there are homing missiles and some other things. Okay, I was aiming for a cycle here. I hope I got it right. Ah, uh, that's not very good, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay. Ah uh, yeah, the new enemies here are the jumpers. You can see them uh, hopping around, 
and uh, creating some precise sequences where you have to go to get the right pattern you want. Yeah, and that was level 1 over 2. Uh, now we're going on the second level of World 2, where the new enemy is the satellite, uh, which is an enemy that when you punch them, they will follow a path. You have to hit them three times, and uh, you can create path with that. Like here, I go upper, and here I can go across the flames. So this is the main enemy of this level, the new enemy actually, uh, that is uh, used a lot. And you can use it to damage boost sometimes, like that. And to go across a feed of spikes. That's it, that was level 2. Uh, incoming the level 4... Uh, oh, I'm quite late. Incoming the level 4, uh, in this one there are no new enemies, if I recall correctly. Uh, but it's quite hard, I will, I will uh, go silent a little. Oh, that wasn't a good start was not a good start, but oh well, it will be okay. We go for the second cycle. Okay, go right there, satellite. Ah, come on. Okay, not good, but not bad, I think. Yeah, here I could get like 30 seconds or instead of 33, but it's all good, it's all good. Uh, now the World Tree. On World Tree, the new enemy are the, the shielded enemy. So enemies that have either bumpers that will make you bump on them or, sh or spikes. This is the, oh, that's not good. This is the first uh, difficulty spike of the game. Uh, spiked enemies are a nightmare for casual players. Oh. That wasn't good, but oh well. Let's go for that, with that. So, they are a nightmare. Okay, let's go slow. Okay, good. They are a nightmare for casual play because it's really hard when you don't know when you don't know what's coming at you. And uh, the game keeps on throwing everything at you, actually. Uh, but I was saying that uh, they are the, a nightmare, but for speedrunners, they are actually a good friend for some parts. We'll see that at the end of this level. So, the new enemy here are like shooters. They, uh, those are enemies that shoot pellets at you, but you can use as an enemy. And uh, like that, you create some path. So, oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, I will restart. That was really not good. Uh, so, they shoot pellets at you. And you can use them as a regular enemy. Ah. Okay. Ah, mm. That's it. So, I was saying these are the worst enemy for casual players. But actually here you can just use them to damage boost. Because they are like regular enemies actually. That you can just destroy. Uh, when you hit them on the spiky part. But actually it's all good when you, uh, when you just damage boosting to them. Uh, coming is level 3-5, uh, there are no, uh, no new enemies here, uh, it's a quick level, uh, which can be really tricky uh, actually, but it's okay, no matter. Perfect time for some donations? Yep. Alright, cool, so we have $5 here from uh, Fina, 17 years old, saying all my Animal Crossing villagers in Pweep land are rooting for you, Sushi. <laughs> And we have five dollars from uh, Maza Lisa saying French accent FTW. <laughs> so that was um, okay ish. It would have been really better. Uh, so we won't have a world record today, unfortunately. <laughs> So, incoming level uh, World 4. So, on World 4, the new enemy are um, lasers. Some lasers have a, a, like a cooldown on, on the attack, and uh, but you are this creates some um, some patterns. We'll say uh, 
it's really difficult to talk and <laughs> but at the same time. But this creates some patterns uh, for the pass you take. Oh, that's not really good. I go safe. Okay. It creates some patterns. You have to uh, go through them when the, they are not firing, uh, obviously. But you can still attack them uh, because the, the head of the lasers uh, is color coded. So it can be white, red, pink, or green. Uh, incoming level 42, uh, a new enemy which is an environmental enemy, which is the bomb. So it has an area of effect which triggers uh, after a certain time when you, you enter it. But actually, uh, as we go fast, we don't care. Okay, here a little damage boost. Another damage boost to go through that without a fluke. Okay. Ah, I hate when it does that, but it's okay. Okay, some stylish points here. Yeah, good. So that was level 4-4. Four four. So every, everything goes really fast in this game. Uh, level 4-4. Four four and uh, No, that was level 4-2. Incoming level 4-4. Four four, no new enemies, but the best music of the game. Uh, Persona, fans, listen, Persona fans listen to it. Uh... So this one is pretty tricky as well. If everything goes fine, I can do some cool things. Ah, I'm a little late, but it's okay. Okay. Oh no, that's not good. I will have to go safe on some part because... Oh, this is really not good. But it's okay, we manage. We take the safest way, I hope. Normally you dash through the, these lasers, but as we are in a pinch, if we don't do it like that, we can lose like uh, f 30 seconds, and that's not good. Um, I prefer losing like 5 or 10 seconds rather than losing 40 seconds. That's better, I think. So incoming level, uh, the World 5. Um, in the World 5, there is a new enemy, which are the ghosts. So the ghosts, you have to... They appear when you attack them in a certain chain. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, that's good. Oh, too slow. So, so I attempted to do a pretty good skip. Which allows me to damage boost through two patterns, but I missed it. That's not a big deal. Focus here. Okay. That's still a good time. That's still a good time. Uh, so... We'll continue level 5-2. So from now on, uh, all the levels have no new enemies, but uh, but the, the game throws everything at you. Uh, it's really hard. These levels are really hard. So running through the spikes and the nice sides. Wait here, okay. Taking the safest pass, but really the here dashing through the bumper. Here we don't care, but sometimes it's it's really faster to go running because uh, oh, that's a new one. Okay, cool. That could be that could have been way better, but. Uh, but it's cool. It's still cool. Okay. Next one. So level 5 for A. Which is really, really tough. I remember spending hours on this one uh, at the beginning. Because at the beginning, at the beginning as well, uh, you only had, had 3 lives at the beginning of a level. So it was really hard actually. Uh, and then they switch it to the 4 lives because... It's a little, it's okay, we'll say, for new players. And uh, for speedrunners, it allows most damage boosts, so it's cool. Uh, so, yeah, oh, there we go. Then we focus here, we go through there. Oh, good, good pattern. 
here the, the, the deduction al bump is essential because with all those spiked enemies you have to choose where you want to go before. So let's try. Oh no. There we go. So I lose time but whatever. Here the final part. Let's try not to dash in an enemy. Okay, there we go. Whew. And that was actually the last level. Uh, now we have the boss, the boss fights, uh, the boss fights, uh, which is boss A. Uh, the boss in this game is actually three level one after another, uh, two levels one after another, uh, like three phases of the boss. Um, fortunately, we have checkpoints between the levels, but there is one thing: is that uh, in this uh, boss, there is a death pit. Uh, in Every other levels, there are no death pits. Uh, here, if you make a mistake, it's game. Of, it's uh, you have to restart the level. Let's hope we don't mess. Oh, this is not good. But we we'll try to get to be safe. No, that's ah, that's too bad. So it's really tough. The Damage boost here. Okay, that's better. Uh, um, um. Okay. This part is really worth some. I have to do this part normally. There we go. Then zip through everything. So that's the first part. Each part uh, rewards you with a mashing time. There we go. Now the second part, uh, which is uh, tough as well. Okay, little damage boost here. Here we take another uh, another damage boost. Yeah. Okay, this one, this part is really tricky when you start the game. There are so many spiked enemies, and you don't know where to go. Uh, actually, you know you have to go right, but there are so many enemies you don't you don't know actually. So it's really 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 hard at the beginning. So second phase down. Uh, now we're going to the third phase, the longer one, was also the coolest one uh, in my opinion. So. Good, a big damage with big skip here. Uh, then we continue a little skip right here. Then we fast fall, go through your skip a phase, then zip through everything. Wait a little to get the perfect timing. Okay, now I can go across. Ah, too bad, too slow. Here, an intended skip. Okay, now will I get the laser skip? Yeah, laser skip. So it's not saving any time, but here, if you go fast enough, uh, normally the boss would uh, do uh, like a big animation with a laser, a giant laser. Uh, but now, I, if you go fast enough, you skip that phase. And so get ready for time because this is the end. And time. Ah. This was intense. So here we finished the game by destroying the robot and all. Uh, so I will see now what the in-game time was because the game is based on in-game time. So 10 minutes 55, 57. It's 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 cool. It's a good. It's uh, an okay time. Well, my. My best time was a 9.51, but it's, it's a good time, it's a pretty good time, pretty satisfied with that. Um, so, uh, did we meet the incentive for the colorblind run? Yes, we have indeed oh, met that. Oh, so very cool. We'll see some colorblind final boss. Oh, cool. So, you've all seen the, the final boss, which was already pretty tough. Uh, because everything's so the developers of the game uh, uh, did some 
a neat thing which is that you can depending of your gamepad you can have uh, different lock colors so having a either PlayStation, Microsoft or even uh, Nintendo one but they thought about the colorblind people people are, that are uh, who are colorblind colorblind I was uh, managed to talk and you can choose uh, the colors you want uh, among eight colors the thing is uh, we got inspired by someone who made a mistake one time uh, or uh, rather which ha who has a controller and had the three same colors uh, but you still have to hit the right buttons uh, well some will say but you can still see the the, the common prompts like square triangle etc but we can also hide the symbols so uh, now uh, wait I didn't uh, yes it's okay I did I did uh, validate and now uh, the game everything in the game everything is yellow uh, so I already did uh, on my channel uh, a full game colorblind for the marathon I will just do the final boss um, and this is a really a really <laughs> tough exercise uh, so three two one here we go Whew. now as you see everything is yellow I'm going safe here Uh, mm, mm, mm. The only thing we can still see the the position of the button, but I, I don't have time to check actually. Ah, here I did not know what color it was. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that was scary! That was scary actually. Uh, yeah, so first face down. Uh, oh no, <laughs> I know what we turn to mash. <laughs> uh, so now second phase. Okay, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Ah no! I miss I have wrong button. Ah, oh. this is why I was saying this is a uh, one mistake, and you have to restart everything. Well, no. Ah, here as well. Ah oh, la la. This is difficult. Okay, damage boost here. Okay. No! I did the same mistake again. Oh no! Whew, this is hard, this is hard. Okay, same thing again. Okay. Whew. Second phase down. That was uh, pff, difficult. And now the third phase. Okay, let's go. The skip usually works. Okay. really hard okay now okay this time we won't fail that's good
Okay, this cape. Mm, mm, mm. This is a skip? Yeah, this is a skip. Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's try to hit the banana that's ready. <sighs> that was really <laughs> my my head hurts actually <laughs> now. <laughs> but it's done a second time. <laughs> So that's it, that was the colorblind uh, final boss. Uh, I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, this was Skyball Zack and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this is all for me. So you can still uh, join the Discord if you're interested uh, and uh, play the game, it's cool. 